My name is Zimingona Pakate Sigenu. I am 24 years old and I am a first generation student. I am currently studying towards a Master of Philosophy in Development Studies and this is my final year. I can think of many ways that the 100 Up program supported me to prepare me for university. Firstly, in terms of resources, coming to UCT every Saturday for Saturday classes in maths, English and um, sciences that prepared us, especially in our matric year, to be able to have the results that would enable us to get into university. Secondly, I think the support system, peers being surrounded by like-minded people who come from the same environment as you have goals, who are striving to be something in life is a very instrumental way that I feel I was supported throughout high school and even when I got to university. Success for me means being able to provide for my family. It means being a source of inspiration and encouragement for young people within my own family but also within my community because I saw that when I was growing up I was brought up or produced or I was a product of the whole community and in that for me was success. So being able to provide for my family but being able to be a source of inspiration for people around me, being able to be a source for another person to climb onto because I was also um, given that courtesy of having someone or having a structure such as the 100 Up program to help me to be where I am today. In the near, in the far future, I hope to be an academic. I want to be in academia, but at the moment, my passion has grown to become research consultancy. So research and evaluation within the social development space. And that is what I'm looking to uh, be active in and participate in at the moment. But in the future, I would like my, to see myself inside the doors of a South African institution teaching and doing research. I wouldn't say there is a particular person, but I can draw, I draw on my parents for inspiration because of how they, with nothing, tried to provide as much as they could for me. I also draw on my community as an inspiration because wherever I go, I feel I carry it with me. Even in my time staying at UCT, my community was never far away from my mind because I know or at the back of my mind, I always have that thought that my success is not just for me, but it's for the community. It's to show the possibilities that are out there. It's to show that people can actually achieve their goals and their dreams. So my parents and just my community at large. The message I would like to give to someone who's new to the 100 Up program is a message that I also received from Mrs. Parker when I was in high school. The one thing that she told us was, in as much as, as a black young person, you will look at the world and see how it owes you so much, but the world doesn't act as if it owes you. So in doing so, don't expect when you do so, when you stop expecting the world to give you what it owes you, then you will, be, you will allow yourself to work hard and know that there won't be any handouts. You need to work hard. You need to utilize the resources that are given to you. You need to try your best to utilize every resource, every assistance, every support that is offered to you. And I think the most important thing is work hard and look out for yourself because no one else will.